Hey YouTube, this video is a pretty specific topic. This is my Minotaur character, and he has not had a mouth modeled yet. So I'm going to show you how to add a mouth and teeth to a model that has not had those pieces added yet. So the very first thing I do is mask the parts of the face that I don't want to move. And you want to mask it up to... Uh, basically the bottom of the top lips so that we can pose the jaw downward and then what I'm doing here is adding uh, a whole bunch of extra detail extra vertices using the draw tool in um, sculpt mode with a strength of zero and a direction of negative negative. and here I'm just cleaning up the mask a little so by adding all the extra detail I'll be able to cut into the face a lot more specifically or accurately than I would with uh, the relatively low amount of detail it started with. And as you'll see, it allows me to make um, a lot sharper cuts and move the geometry around a lot more. So my favorite tool for doing something like this is just the draw tool with a high strength. Here you can see I just, I just cut into the face with the draw tool and basically make a cave in there and the next step in this process will be to retopologize this model so if there's some weird um, artifacts or overlapping inside there it's not really going to matter because I'll take care of them when I retopo this so here I'm just blocking out the shape of the mouth now if you can use a smaller mouth and you don't need the entire um, like the entire mouth all the way back or the back teeth, then uh, you wanna just, you wanna sculpt as little into the head as you can because there's no reason to show or to spend time building things that um, no one will ever see. And you gotta keep in mind that the lighting, the lighting probably can't get very far into the mouth anyway, unless you really try to get it there. So uh, like this guy, for instance, uh, being a minotaur, he has the head of a bull and technically he should have a whole bunch of molars really far back in his mouth. But um, like I said, you won't see them and the lighting would be hard to get in there anyway. So I just will completely leave them out. So here I'm just um, sculpting the, the roof and the floor of his mouth. Cows have no uh, top teeth. They just have like a, a hard pad in the top and then they have teeth in the bottom. So I've, I've sculpted that pad in the top. You can see it right there. And now I'm just preparing the gums on the bottom. So I've learned that when you're, when you're building teeth, you want to sculpt the gums as part of the mesh. And then uh, it's, it's way more convenient later on to have the teeth just be separate pieces. Uh, mostly for texturing, I think. Because you can, you can apply a simple texture to them and you can retopologize your base mesh with without having to do the teeth because they can be one of the trickier pieces to retopologize as well. And then I always I always leave the lips sticking out away from the teeth a little bit extra because what I think is when you come to add the the bones in the face later on, you can place them in the lips and you won't get the weight paints overlapping the teeth too bad that way. And it just, it just saves some extra weight paint cleaning. And you can always pose the lips to be back further to where they kind of would naturally sit when the mouth is open. So my characters always look um, basically surprised when I make them before I, before I get their rest pose fixed because I leave their lips kind of uh, spread out so far. So they always look a little funny until you get the rig on them. All right, so now I posed, I posed the jaw down and his chin down in order to cut in like this. So I was just fixing the seams that were created when I did that. So to fix the seams, you just, you wanna remove uh, the masking from the head and uh, just use a smooth tool to take care of any of the weird overlaps where you had the mask start and stop because there's usually some like model tearing right there. All right, now here 
Um, I'm just adding a simple cube with some subdivisions. I'm going to sculpt the teeth. And these look pretty good as far as I'm concerned. They're definitely not uh, like medically accurate or anything. And I also didn't vary them. So I think they turn out just fine. But, you know, for like human teeth, you would have to pay a little more attention or they just won't look right. But for this guy, I, I noticed that um, there's only eight teeth in the bottom front anyway. So I went ahead and uh, just made all of the same one and duplicated them. And I noticed they have a lot of like like ridges. They kind of look like molars in, in humans' back molars. And uh, so I, I kind of tried to make it look like that a little, but I definitely uh, did this quickly and skipped a lot of that detail. Again, I don't think you'll really see the top of the teeth all that often. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. So I'll just get the general shape figured out. And then what I'm going to do is just use a mirror modifier and I'll set it to mirror about the X axis using the body or his body mesh as the uh, mirror object. And then from there, it's just a matter of scaling and positioning the teeth, how you, how you think they should sit. And then you can also go back and correct the gums if you think that your teeth won't look right where uh, you know where the gums are sitting so in just a second here I'll show how I adjust the gums once I have the teeth in the spot I think that they should stay at so you can see the back the back teeth or the furthest outside teeth look like they're a little too buried and then the gums looked a little too low in the front so I'm just gonna fine-tune the gums with some more sculpting a little bit and the area behind the teeth should be um, recessed a little bit. So again, you probably can't see it, but that's that's what I was doing there, just making it a little deeper. All right, so kind of one last little move here, rotate them, slide them back in. Now it's looking pretty good. So his body was all this kind of uh, black, material that you can see there with like a fur texture in it and the reason his mouth looks like a skin color is um, the the mesh was modified so my image texture is no longer applied properly so if you if you want to do all of this you want to make sure all of your mesh is done and you've done your retopology before you texture otherwise you'll have to come back and redo it and I use substance painter for texturing so it's not, it's not a horribly long process to come correct the texturing, but uh, it's easiest just to do things one time. So I think his mouth is looking good at this point. The next steps will be to um, retopologize the entire model. Again, you can see here, I kept the teeth separate. So when I retopo, I can just skip them and uh, I can do their material entirely separate from the rest of the body. Uh, if you haven't seen his his time-lapse series for creating this character. I'll have links on my end screen. Definitely go check that out. This will all make more sense if you know how I got to this point. And check out my other videos if you want to see more of my stuff. Thanks for watching. Uh, please consider a like and subscribe. And if you want to comment and tell me what to work on next or tell me what I did wrong, feel free. I'd like to hear from you.